and here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. You guys are seeing the footage from my first ride for my new GoPro. I ended up picking one up after a lot of debate, a lot of, um, you know, just speculation on whether or not I want to get one in the future. But I ended up getting one and this is the first ride that I took with it. And what you guys are seeing right here is a lot of climbing. Well, a lot less than what I used to do in the past, but uh, usually I do uh, this route and um, this is just and one I usually do in the mornings, but uh, you guys will see a few different, if you're ever in San Diego, uh, you guys will hear about these infamous uh, climbs, I guess you could say. This is uh, one that I live right next to called Double Peak Mountain which is a very steep climb and you guys know me, I'm a climbing junkie, that's how I get most of my, uh, I mean, I would say my fitness, my cardiovascular level is mainly due to my climbing abilities. I'm not an elitist or an elite, I guess you should say elite cyclist or elite climber by any means, but I feel like if you're climbing, you're gonna become a better cyclist. I've told you guys that a lot. So uh, this is the, uh, the bottom of it right now. We're near in the middle portion of it, but it gets very, very, very steep. So you guys will see right here, I slowed down the speed and I really try to crank out the watts to get up as fast as possible. Um, but that's the, the biggest thing is this gets, this the gradient on this hill will vary between uh, 10, uh, actually it starts around eight or 9% grade and then it can get upwards of 17 to 18%. So pretty insane for the most part. So uh, I love this, I love training right here on this hill just because you get such an awesome view. You guys are gonna see it in a few minutes or actually probably a minute or two. But right here we're near in the, the 14 to 15% gradient part of this. And all of this, uh, during this entire session, I'm completely seated. Um, I talk about efficiency a lot on the bike and that's all San Diego right there. If you guys can check out to the right. Um, this is all mounted on my head by the way. So I, I'm trying to give you guys a good view, but it's uh, not working out so well. You guys will see in a, in a minute or two. I get to the very, very top. Anyways, so I talk a lot about efficiency and spinning as opposed to mashing and that's where this really 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 comes into play and that's where i really hope to uh get a lot more out of uh actually getting this gopro and filming more footage for you guys so you guys can see have like a better illustration of what i mean by that even though it's a pretty simple concept for the most part uh but if you if you could see my cadence down there um you guys will see it pretty high for the most part uh going up a 14 to 15% grade, and that's all San Diego right there, by the way. So check out that view. Um, if you're running a high cadence and uh, utilizing your, you know, yourself the right way, you're going to be able to get up the, the climbs. Yeah, that was me right there. Gotta get back down. No. It gets very, very, very steep. Like I said, and then going down something steep, you're gonna go very, very fast. Uh, fun fact, right about here is where the car was making the U-turn, a legal U-turn a few uh, weeks ago where I got into my wreck, so in case you guys wanted to know. Um, anyways, going just some different sites around San Diego, I go all the way down and then go all the way back up again and then uh, taking this down all the way uh, into a place called Carlsbad, Encinitas this area in San Diego. It's very beautiful outside. Uh, this ride, it was about, I would say in the 90s. And oh, that was horrible. There was a Domino's, there was a Domino's car right next to me and the window was down. And so hitting, having Domino's smell hit you, middle of your ride is the worst thing ever. Best slash worst thing ever. Anyways, uh, I mean, we have so much traffic as well. I mean, I guarantee you guys, depending on if you're a cyclist or not, watching this video, you probably notice a lot of traffic near you. So I thought this was pretty uh, funny because I don't normally ride around rush hour, but uh, this street was probably gonna be running for about, I think this is probably a good four or five miles. And it was just literally nothing but cars, just a straight wall of cars that were just bumper to bumper traffic and I'm, just roaring by them. Um, I think I was clocking in at like 18 miles an hour until I hit this uh, 
truck almost dead on right there as he was in the bike lane. Fun fact for everybody that does not ride bikes or just anybody in general, if you are in that situation, don't block the bike lane. Don't ever block the bike lane at all because it just pisses us off even more. But uh, yeah, try to be more aware of what's going on around you. It really helps out a lot, I promise. Uh, going up right here near the freeway actually this kind of runs into the freeway which is why people uh, take that road and uh, it's kind of sketchy riding over freeways for the most part but I get to show you guys all of that now uh, I actually uh, this there's more to this video rather than just me doing awkward commentary but um, I'm planning on now since I have a GoPro since I have all of this oh this is, this is the hardest hill right here that was just a straight-up wall straight up wall oof that was brutal that's what we call suffering guys right there <laughs> anyways uh so i long story short i'm gonna be getting some time off within the next i would say i think it's in the next week or two instead of just two days off i'm gonna be getting i think four or five days so what i want to do is go on a little cycling adventure here in southern california i'm thinking about possibly going up to uh just ride my bike all the way up to anywhere past LA, uh, San Francisco, possibly if I can make it there, which would be really, really cool. Uh, so making it there and then maybe just getting there, eating some awesome food, then flying back, having my bike shipped back, but I don't know. I just wanted to do something sporadic, something completely different. Um, by the way, this is the last hill to finish the ride and uh, starting off from the bottom right here and working your way up. Uh, if there's one thing to take away from this video, from my cycling footage, guys, is that technique is huge and you gotta do hills. That's the ride data, that's the ride um, numbers right there. And uh, Anyways, guys, just closing off the ride right here. If you haven't already, follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. See you guys in the next video. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? Uh,